Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. Yarl the Appian Way here with another replay. So, uh, earlier today I had a pretty unique opportunity to uh, play some warm-up matches on another person's stream. They're planning on putting together a Troy tournament. Um, but he's chosen some pretty unique rules. So, my opponent here is, I believe this is... Uh, if this is uh, Wipeout playing as Lycia, if it isn't, it's it's Air Runner. I can't remember which one it is. It's one of those two. I played a bunch of games with the two of them on and off throughout the whole day. And uh, the rules had it so that basically the, the regular factions cannot bring any mythical units or chariots. Uh, and then there's certain numbers of melee units you can bring. Amazon, at least, has the ability to bring some of its own cavalry, but still no chariots, no mythical units, no mounts for heroes. Those are the basic rules. Um, this is, uh... <laughs> I was asked to play Amazons, though I really didn't want to with these rule sets, but hey, here we are, so I did. Uh, I brought two Amazon Swordswomen, I brought three Arista McCoy, because I was allowed to bring one more than, uh, than the base Unicaps, and I brought three Andromacoy. Uh, I brought a pair of Huntresses and two Shielded Stone Slingers. My Archer Skirmisher here I was on foot. And then I brought a Horsewoman and three Antianere. My opponent with Lycia brought three Renowned Kopesh Fighters, three Eastern Spearmen, or no, just two. Two Eastern Spearmen. Uh, three Heavy Eastern Spearmen, one Anatolian Youth, two Armored Lycian Archers, two Eastern Slingers, and an archer skirmisher hero himself, and as well as three companions of Sarpedon. So, let's get this show on the road. The uh, opening stage of this battle is going to be just to maneuver the armies closer together. We do have some uh, early pop shots from the archer skirmisher hero, and I'm going to go ahead and use my archer skirmisher hero to return fire on uh, on this bobbed up companions of Sarpedon and armored lacy and archer. I think I actually meant to target. Um, the hero, but some of my shots are, are acting as collateral and getting through. I'm using my shielded stone slingers to try and push this off while activating Apollo's reign. The archer skirmish hero is going to try and do some bobbing and weaving. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, cavalry, which was hidden briefly, out into the far left leg, but I've got a tall order to try and beat all of this infantry. It's really not favorable for me. I start using my sh stone slingers to target the armored Lycian archers. Lycian archers are a much better skirmisher unit than just shielded stone slingers. But I'm going to try anyway. And I still have my archer skirmisher hero doing doing her darndest to just... Oh man, she's getting in a ton of collateral kills. Targeting the archer skirmisher hero and just plowing through and getting a whole bunch of kills in the back, back uh, lane. My opponent is wise enough to protect their uh, eastern slingers. So I'm just going to go ahead and dart around. I'm going to try and be maneuverable with my um with my cavalry i'm going to use my huntresses to try and peel off hit points on some of these heavier units and actually I had an opportunity here to try and kill some use uh eastern spearmen i think i was targeting eastern slingers actually see here my um one of my shielded stone slingers is already routed this one is uh not long for this earth with the uh, armored lycian archers there and you can see my aristomachoi and dramachoi amazon swordswin they're already getting wrapped up here. Um, not too much of a, of a choice, but to just die when you play as the Amazons in some of these rule sets. I'm going to try and sneak around with some cavalry. Getting an end around. And, yeah. So, you might be asking, Jarl, this is, this is absolutely not a fair fight. Why are you showing us this? Did you win? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I honestly, I'm showing this replay because I'm really proud of, uh, of my performance in it. No other reason. Just really proud of my performance with the uh, Antianere in particular. Getting around the flanks, and even though my main line is just getting obliterated, I am I feel like I'm doing a really good job. I'm pretty sure my opponent is Air Runner, actually. I just I can't remember if it was Air Runner or, uh, or Wipeout. So yeah, um, I go ahead and I'm going to get these Renowned Kubish Fighters slightly out of position. My Huntresses are going to open fire with their Javelins. Stone Slingers are still doing what they can. I did get this cavalry charge into the back, but there's companions of Sarpedon sitting here waiting for me. I have more cavalry making their way in, but my opponent is is quick to put some Kopesh fighters in the way. Uh, I'm still going to take the charge quickly, but I need to get out of here before these Eastern Spearmen collapse on me, before the Anatolian use collapse on me. My Huntresses are, are trying to pile up more and more kills. My Scourge here is getting a ton of kills. Even though she's mostly spent her time targeting the Archer Skirmisher Hero. 
and it's, it's mostly chaos. You can see that for the most part, my opponent has a a a position in the center of this battlefield, the field of Thanatos, and I am trying my darndest to to threaten as many flanks as I can with maneuvers, with my uh, my cavalry sneaking in, hitting a unit there, darting out, hitting a unit there. But you can see my melee infantry. They're just all over the place, and they're mostly dead. I'm going to continue to try and trade fire with the light sea and archers. Huntresses are being targeted now, which is a problem, but I do have an opportunity to shoot some companions to start. But I'm going to activate the Aristea just so I can get a, a faster cooldown um, on some of her abilities. No it's helping me to beat the archer skirmisher hero. And my cavalry is looking for their next target. I decided to go ahead and take this charge here, even though there's two companions of Sarpedon. I might be able to get some damage done to the Lycian archers and then pull through and get into the slingers. Um, it's it's the only thing I really have going for me at this stage is that I'm the only one with mobility since uh, none of my opponents can bring chariots. Chariots are the big reason why I almost never bring melee cavalry. Um, the chariots will tear apart melee cavalry. Melee cavalry is faster than chariots, but you still have to... You still lose a little bit of that mobility when your opponents bring chariots against your cav. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take some charges on some weakened units here, because there are plenty about that have just taken a ton of damage. And if I can break them, move on, get to my next target, break another one, move on, get to my next target. My Amazon Swordsman here don't have a chance against these Eastern Spearmen. I've used up almost all of my ammo on these Javelins. This companion to Sarpedon is almost gone. I'm going to try and just, like, charge in here, break down some more units. My Archer Skirmisher Hero is winning this duel against his Archer Skirmisher Hero, but his Archer Skirmisher Hero is mostly focused on my expensive infantry. I don't blame him. But I just, I never counted on winning the infantry battle, so I didn't bother trying to kill the infantry. I just kind of went for the targets I knew I could get. Alright, so... It's a stage now of where I'm like, I don't... I know I can't win, but can I at least remove as many tools from my opponent as possible? Because I almost routed that uh, heavy eastern spearman with that charge, even though my uh, huntresses aren't going to win that fight. I've lost my um, my Amazon swordsman over here. I have an opportunity. I did shatter this eastern spearman, so I have an opportunity here to wrap up some of these uh, eastern slingers, and maybe even this renowned Kopesh fighter with some good cavalry tactics. Archer skirmisher is trying to kill off a few more units. This is actually pretty intense. I do get a grab a hold of these characters here. The Eastern Slingers are wavering, wavering. This one's shaken. I get into the back of this round. Kopesh Fighter, it's now broken. But I gotta get away, away from here before these more healthy units show up. I almost got that heavy Eastern Spearman. I now have a problem where the um, companions of Sarpedon were outrunning my um, my Archer Skirmisher hero. So I had to I had to charge them quickly with the Antonei Ray. And then try and get out of there, try and get some more shots into the Archer Skirmisher hero. This blob of infantry is chasing my Antonei, right? And then I have to run away again. Out here, look at this. I've, I've shattered uh, that renowned Kopesh and this Eastern Slinger. I'm just... I've, I've, at this, It's at this stage of the battle where I'm like, I'm not winning. There's no way I'm going to win. The power bar the way, where it is. Okay, Homer, thank you. I was just saying that. And I was just like, but how many tools can I, can I shatter before it's over? How good of a show can I give my opponent? And look at these armored Lacian archers, broken. We're now Kobesh fighters roll in, push me away, but I target my next unit, which is this uh, almost shattered heavy eastern spearman. Normally you wouldn't want to charge it with Antonei Array, but I take the charge anyway, because I'm hoping that the charge alone will be enough to shatter it. But here comes the round Kobesh fighters. Got it, shattered, pull out, keep going. Look for my next target, probably this uh, renowned armored Lycian or this heavy ar archer, uh, ar heavy armored spearman. There's options. I have targets. There are things I can still do in this battle. This, uh, this companions of Sarpedon, for instance, is a good target. The uh, archer skirmisher here is going to start shooting at my uh, cavalry. I don't blame them. Probably should. And I, my opponent sees what I'm trying to do with my cavalry, and I'm like, shoot the gap, shoot the gap, shoot the gap. I'm, I'm running with my archer skirmisher here. I just got to get my cavalry. They're exhausted. Uh, very tired, very tired. I just gotta get around these Kopesh swords and these spears. I finally do. Look at the blood all over this battlefield. It's mostly the blood for my swordswomen, of course. I have an opportunity here if I can charge the Kapadius of Sarpedon and this renowned armored Lycian archer. Boom! Huge hit on the Kapadius of Sarpedon. Here comes the rest of my cavalry. Also is gonna roll on in here. 
get another charge of the Archer Scourge here is doing a ton of damage to me. I put the Ancien Array into the Companions of Sarpedon. I'm going to put the Horsewomen into the Armored Lycian Archer. That Companion shattered. That Archer shattered. And army losses. Game over. For me. If that wasn't uh, obvious. I, that, that's where I lost. <laughs> it was a really, really fun fight, though. And I was proud of myself for being able to just, like, stick in there and deal just a little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. Shattering as many units as I possibly could. Good game wipeout. It was a lot of fun. In the end, I was able to route nine of uh, of the what is this? Fourteen of the nineteen. I'm sorry, seventeen. I was able to route uh, all but nine of his seventeen units, um, which was it's pretty good showing, I'd say. I got I got eight eight of them off the battlefield. Um, some of them just completely deleted, like this Companions of Sarpedon. But, I mean, you could tell he had, he had all the tools he needed to face down a uh, Hippolytus Amazon army. I had, like I said, I had a lot of fun with this battle. Um, Wipeout is a very, very strong opponent. I have nothing but respect for him. And I wish him luck in this uh, tournament that's coming up soon. The tournament is being run by a Twitch streamer. His name is Forsaken Spartan. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to um, his Twitch in the description. Uh, and I invite you to check it out. It's going to be... The, the tournament's going to be running after the Ajax and Diomedes DLC comes out. So a lot of the gameplay is actually going to be kind of different because we are expecting a patch either um, the day before or the day of the, uh, the DLC, which I believe is the 28th thursday last time we got the patch notes on the day before on the wednesday before the uh the amazon dlc came out so anyway that's that um it was a good battle good game to my opponent i i gave him my absolute best effort i i remember wipeout saying after the battle i hate amazon <laughs> I, I agree i also don't have a lot of fun when i'm playing as amazon but it was uh it was a fun battle regardless anyway Ta-ta, I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.